What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's lesson, we'll be talking about the Quasimodo pattern. This Quasimodo pattern is simply a reversal pattern. And if you're able to spot this reversal pattern, you'll be able to identify areas which we could see a possible change in market direction. This pattern changed the overall trend of the market. So if you're able to spot the Quasimodo pattern, like I said, you'll be able to know the area price is likely going to reverse. So I hope this lesson is a lesson you would want to pay attention to because if you're able to spot Quasimodo pattern, you already know where price is going to reverse from and trading price from point of reversal, you're going to make a lot of money from the market. Okay, let's jump straight into what we have for today. But if you are totally new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm Solomon Wisdom and here is Born to Trade. On this channel, I teach about institutional trading style and if you're interested in stuff like this, subscribe to the channel as we jump straight into what we have for today's lesson. Now we have two patterns on those price chart right now and the first pattern you're going to see right here is a bearish Quasimodo and the second one we have right here is a bullish Quasimodo pattern. Now if you're able to spot these two patterns, believe me, you're going to make money with it in the financial market. So let's start with a bearish Quasimodo pattern. The Quasimodo pattern can also be called the QML pattern. Now for a bearish Quasimodo pattern, what you're going to see is that price is in an uptrend you can clearly see how price react to the upside forming a higher high and after price formed this higher high we had a nice pullback after we had this pullback price reacted to the upside to break the previous structure so this is a valid break of structure so now we have this valid break of structure this indicates that the trend of the market at this particular point is bullish you see price break structure and it was able to print another higher high at this particular point so after price prints this higher high, we had another pullback and you know this is normal in the market. Now after we see this pullback in the market, price continues to the upside and we're able to identify another break of structure at this particular point. Now having this multiple break of structures in continuation of the uptrend, this indicates that price is bullish. And when price is bullish, what is our expectation? Our expectation as smart money traders is we usually wait for price at this kind of levels waiting for price to come back for mitigation expecting price to come back to our areas of demand or areas of other block for mitigation so this is a bullish market now we'll be expecting price to rebalance or mitigate our demand level now at this particular point you see after this pullback price prints another higher high so any smart money trader is likely going to have his or her zone at this particular area any smart money trader who trades with institutional footprints will likely be looking at the demand level we have at this particular area expecting that price is going to mitigate the level and we're going to have a continuation to the upside but at this particular point what we see is that price moves underneath the low forming a failed demand level at this particular area so now we have a failed demand level this simply indicates that we have a shift in market structure and we already understand what shift in market structure means. Market structure shifts indicate possible shift in the trend of the market. Now, when you identify a possible shift in the trend of the market, combining it with your QML level, you see this is a good confluence. We're going to have a serious shift in the trend of the market. Price shifts in structure and it drops to the downside. So this is where I want you to pay the attention. This is where I want you to pay the most attention in this lesson. Now remember I said the bearish Quasi model is a reversal from uptrend to a downtrend. So price was actually trending up. Now what we'll be expecting is that we're going to have a shift in the overall trend of the market. Not just having a shift, we're going to look for a way to get involved in the market because when price shifts in structure, I'm shifting in its trend without we being able to find an entry pattern or where we can get involved in the market it doesn't make sense so the ultimate goal of we traders is to find a good area to trade from in the financial markets now at this point this is where we have the market structure shift now where is your qml level your qml level is the previous high that was broken before that market structure shift because what you can clearly see is that we have two areas where price broke structure the first area price broke structure was this particular high this high is your break of structure see price broke this previous high 
print this new higher high and reverse to the downside forming this market structure shifts at this particular area so this is the area you have to pay attention to we have multiple break of structure the break of the high and the break of the low now this break of the low simply signifies market structure shift possible shift in structure now where is our qml level this high right here is your qml level so all you have to do right now is to label here your qml level not just labeling it your qml level but also extending the line because this is where we're going to get involved in the market so i need to pay attention to this particular high you see this higher high that formed this low before the break of structure this is your qml level and all you can do right now is to go ahead and extend go ahead and extend this level now when you extend this level this is where you're going to wait for price to retest this level now why do we have confidence to trade from this qml pattern you know when price forms a qml pattern you see this was the higher high before price reversed now inside this qml range because from this high to, to this particular area is your QML range. And believe me, we have an auto block inside this range. Price will always leave an auto block inside this range. So this is why we have the confidence to trade the QML level. We call it a QML level because we are marking this high. But inside this level, we have an auto block inside the level. Now, this is the confidence you need. Market structure shift, a QML level and we have an other block inside this range now it's now left for you to add some other confluence like liquidity concepts to make it a high probability trading opportunity so this is where you get involved in the market you can mark the qml level and also try to identify the other block inside the range or even your supply level at this particular area because price is going to change each trend now when price comes back to retest you can look to enter aggressively or you look to drop to a lower time frame to get your lower time frame confirmations and after that you see price retest the level and we have the shifting structure and now price is reversing to the opposite direction so this is simply a reversal from an uptrend you see a reversal from this uptrend and now price is dropping to the downside you see at first price was trending up and at this point this is where we had that reversal from uptrend towards to a downtrend and this is simply the qml pattern this is a very simple pattern but the downside of this particular pattern is that it doesn't occur every time in the market we don't see it always because price might be in a specific trend now at the point where we're going to see it it might occur once or twice in a week okay depending on the pair you're actually looking at it depends on the pair you're looking at and on the time frame you're looking at so spotting this pattern is kind of rare in the market okay except you look at multiple pairs in the market now this qml pattern works well on forest pairs it works well on stocks features and even cryptocurrency so you can backtest this particular pattern maybe after showing you life examples you can master this pattern and look to include it into your trading style so this particular one right here is a bullish quasimodo pattern so a bullish quasimodo pattern simply means that we're going to have a reversal from a downtrend to an uptrend it's also similar to the first example we had now at this particular point we see price was trending down and at this point what can we clearly see this is a valid break of structure to the downside you see price prints this low you see it's printing a lower high now price pushed the downside to print a lower low and the most important thing is that we have a break of structure a break of structure right here simply means that price is still bearish now after that what do we see we see we have another break of structure at this point every smart money trader who sees a break of structure in the market will always look to identify supply level in this case since you are in a downtrend or trying to identify your other block where you could trade from now you see although price came back to react because price will always react to supply and demand levels so we had a little reaction there but we are still explaining this particular area where price is very far away from this level so for this particular example it's a little bit different from here because in this particular one we have our maximum pin level that is our mpl level so at this point let's mark here as a supply level so you can clearly see that when we had this break to the downside price came back to the supply level and we have little reaction to the downside and have it in mind for this qml level to be a valid one price has to break above this particular high but in this case what are we seeing price is reacting from the supply level and it failed 
to break above this high so since price has failed to break above this particular high we have right here this indicates that it's not yet confirmed as our qml level because you see price mitigate the level and we have good reaction to the downside now after the reaction to the downside which was not able to take this particular low you see that reaction to the downside didn't take this low because if price takes this low it indicates that we are going to continue with our downtrend price react from the supply level and now finally it moves to the upside to break above this particular high so this is where i want you to pay another attention so breaking above this particular high means that this is a market structure shift so this is a valid market structure shift which you can clearly see right now price is now shifting in each structure so this particular pattern is still very much valid but in this case we have what we call a maximum pin level and where is our maximum pin level this low right here is a maximum pin level because at first if we try to mark our QML level, this is what our QML level is going to look like, okay? So you see, we can clearly see that when price reacted to the downside, it retested this QML level. But it wasn't a valid QML level when price retested it at the first time because it was not able to break the high. But after the reaction, you see price now breaks the high, giving us a valid market structure shift, which indicates that we're going to have a possible shift in the market trend. Now, this reaction right here has to be an institutional candle. And I already explained how to spot an institutional candle candle moving with large body so after the reaction price reacts the supply level failed and at this particular point we clearly gonna have an other block inside this range so having an other block inside this range clearly makes it our MPL level that is our maximum pin level and this is where we're gonna trade from because this level also aligns with uh qml level so all you have to do at this particular point is to mark your qml level and look to trade from this particular maximum pin level and and expect the total reversal to the opposite direction so have it in mind that a bullish qml level is just a reversal from a downtrend to an uptrend and this is exactly what you're seeing from here because price was actually trending down now at this particular point we see price changing in its trend from a downtrend to an uptrend and i hope you're not confused about this particular area let me throw more light on this particular area now have it in mind that you might have different areas or different patterns price might also present this particular maximum pin level sometimes this maximum pin level might be very deep inside our qml level so if this level is deeply inside our qml level still come over here to mark that level okay and expect that retest and the continuation but in a situation where we have a maximum pin level at areas like this where we see price leaving a maximum pin level maybe slightly above our qml level this is what you have to do also come over to this particular area and mark your maximum pin level but if you have price inefficiency below this maximum pin level this is where i might advise you to place your stop loss on the net the lowest low right here okay but if there is no price inefficiency if the price action right here is efficient then you can trade with confidence and trade from this particular zone because definitely price is going to leave an auto block let me show a live example and i hope this makes more sense to you so i'm going to use this particular price chart this is a ud card and this is on the two hours time frame so i'm going to use the two hours time frame to explain this and help you understand better so let's start from this particular area right here and if you're looking at this particular price what can you see you see we have price being bullish at this particular area so now that price is bullish what is your expectation your expectation is that we're going to have a bearish quasi middle pattern because a bearish quasi middle pattern is where price moves from an uptrend to a downtrend so all you have to do right here is just to try to spot where we're going to have a bearish quasimodo pattern so let's read the price action we have a break of this high we have a pullback where price comes to mitigate a level at this particular area clearly see that price comes to mitigate a hidden level right here i hope you can clearly see that price mitigates it a continuation to the upside at this point we have another break of this particular high now we have this double candle pullback at first we have a bearish candle a nice pullback at that particular area so seeing this break of structures to the upside simply indicates that price is bullish now at this particular point this is where price breaks above this particular high so if there is any smart money trader who is looking at this particular price action 
he already understands that price is bullish and should be looking to trade from a demand level. A lot of them actually look to mark the whole of this range as their demand level and some might look to refine it maybe down to this candle. Some other people might look to refine down to the week when they drop to a lower time frame. So this is a demand level which they're going to look to trade from and have it in mind that price leaves some price inefficiency which makes it a high probability trading demand zone. So the only thing that could make here a quasi middle level is if price breaks underneath the low. If this demand level fails to hold price, then this is going to be a quasi middle level. So let's press price forward to see now what can we clearly see you see price comes back and it breaks on the next low so price breaking on the not this low simply means that we have a market structure shift at this particular area so this is a market structure shift a valid market structure shift and right now we have a valid qml level so this is the whole trade opportunity right here so just like i said all you have to do right now is just to extend this level and wait for price to come back to this particular level and if you're actually looking at the maximum pin level which i discussed about because we can see that price came to mitigate the demand level we have a little reaction before they drop to the downside this is the area you have to look at okay but my advice for anyone who is trading the qml level is to make sure that you have your stop loss place above this particular high this is the safest place to place your stop loss if you want to trade the qml level so you have two areas you could look to pay attention to firstly you have the maximum pin level and your main qml level at this particular high a lot of people might actually decide to mark the opening price of this level a lot of people might actually mark this particular area that's the opening price of this particular candle if you look to mark it you're going to see it aligns with your mpl level but for me, I usually mark the highest high if I'm looking to trade from a QML level. That is the week itself. That's where I look to mark my zone. So just have it in mind that your entry point has to be the QML level or the maximum pin level. But let's stick to the QML level for this particular example. So let's see how price plays out in this example. So price continues to the downside. And finally, what do we see price do? Price comes back to retest our QML level. And you can clearly see what price did right here. Price just taps into the level with zero drawdown. And you see how price is reversing to the downside. Now have it in mind that I said the QML level is a trend reversal pattern. And a trend reversal pattern simply means that we're going to have price shifting in its trend. That is a total change in trend. Now have it in mind that all you have to do is try to manage your trade with good risk management as price is reversing to the opposite direction. And you see how price starts to move away from this particular level. You see we have a change of market trend and from there price starts to move away and you see how price is blasting to the downside. I hope you can clearly see that price reacted from the QML level and we have that massive reaction to the downside and just like i said you have to manage your trade with good risk management and a lot of people who usually trade and try to hold a lot of trade when they see price reversing because after price respected this level they had a reaction to the downside if anyone who didn't take profit right here sees price reversing to the upside you see coming back almost to their entry points a lot of people might actually get scared and they might lose hope or maybe close position and this is actually caused by being an indisciplined trader a trader who is not disciplined who doesn't respect your rules so each time i talk about trading i always say trader to follow their rules and respect what their rules is saying in the market not just respecting their rules but being a disciplined trader but one thing i notice is that a lot of people trade with beginner mindset a lot of people don't think like professionals when you trade try to build a professional mindset try to build your trading psychology to think like professionals because trading psychology refers to the mental and emotional aspects that influence a trader's decision making process in the market and this also refers to your behavior and the financial market so if you are yet to build a very good trading mindset or a very strong trading mindset that is talking about building a professional trading mindset this is the right time to do it so i think i have one article one of the books which can actually help you build a very strong mindset let me show you the occult trading strategy is a book that can actually help you improve your trading strategy this book will tell you exactly what you need to hear and do to become a better trader over time 
there are some secrets only those successful traders know and these secrets have made them successful in the financial markets ultimately this ebook will help you improve your trading psychology i'm gonna show you that after reading this particular book because i took my time to go through some of the chapters of this particular book and it's actually gonna help you improve your trading psychology the person that took his time to put this into place he did very good in doing this and after reading this i discovered that some of the psychological tips was covered in this particular book this book was talking about trading psychology how to build a professional mindset how most traders react to the market and how they can improve and do better in the financial market so i will advise you to get this book and you're going to see change in your trading psychology and in your approach to the market and the surprising thing is that this book costs just five thousand in naira so if you're actually purchasing it in dollar i think it should be equivalent to about three dollar you see it's very cheap so you can go ahead and purchase this particular book okay it's called the occult trading strategy the secret knowledge of successful traders so this book will actually help you and can you clearly see these are some of the chapters you can go ahead and look at this particular book which is going to help you become a better trader and have the right trading mindset so if you're struggling to improve your trading psychology this is the right time to do it and it doesn't cost much this is just about three dollars you can actually do it and i believe you're going to see change in your trading mindset so let's continue with the lesson so i only showed you that to help you become a better trader in times of psychology because the truth is a lot of people focus on strategy without actually building their mindset and this might actually be the reason you are yet to become successful in the financial market so go ahead and improve on your trading psychology now let's continue with the lesson we're talking about um the quasimodo level right we're still talking about the quasimodo level now what you can clearly see is that after price reacted from the first quasimodo level where we had a bearish quasimodo because from there we see price reversing to the downside which indicates that the trend is now bearish now what we're going to try to spot in the market is a bullish quasimodo pattern where we're going to look for a trend reversal where price is going to reverse from this downtrend to an uptrend so let's see what we have right here you can clearly see we have the break of this particular low we have the pullback price comes back once more to break this particular low so this indicates that price is currently bearish and this is exactly what i've been saying when we have this break of structure any smart money trader will be looking to trade from a supply level and you see this is a very good supply level if you're looking to trade from there and you see price react for the downside we had a little accumulation right here after the accumulation you see price um sweeps the liquidity above the high and we have that massive reaction to the downside which gives another break of structure so this alone should tell you that price is bearish we're having a bearish market at this particular point so at this point you see price prints another lower low we have a pullback and a break of that low so this indicates that we currently pushing to the downside and any smart money trader is looking at this level might be expecting price to come back to mitigate this particular zone we have right here this is uh other block right here now if price breaks above this particular other block that is when we have our passing model level and if price just pulls back mitigates and continues to the downside then we keep paying attention to the market waiting to see a clear place to get involved in the market the downside of trading the passing model level is that it does not occur every time in the market this is aud card and this is on the two hours time frame so after the last time we had the passing model pattern this was around the 21st of august and currently we are at 10th of september and we are yet to identify another quasimodo pattern so it doesn't occur every time in the market the only way you can have a lot of trading opportunities using quasimodo pattern is if you're looking at a lot of press okay if you look at different forex pairs let's press price forward to see how this reacts now price comes back to our supply level we're getting a good reaction to the downside and you see the supply level was actually able to hold price so if you took a trade from the supply level you made little money from this little reaction to the downside and from there you see price trying to break above this height which tells you that this is a very good supply level because price is finding it hard to break above that particular high so now that price was able to break above this particular high you can see that our quasimodo level is now valid you can go ahead and mark this as your quasimodo level i hope you can see that this is your quasimodo level so this is a valid quasimodo level for me now 
our expectation is that price is going to come back to mitigate this level now just like i was explaining i said something about the mpl level that is the maximum pin level so the maximum pin level is just like a flip zone if you know how to trade flip zone you're, um, you're going to actually enjoy trading from this particular level what you can clearly see is that price react from the supply level a reaction to the downside now i said for this to be valid it has to react massively to the upside which breaks above this particular high which confirms that we have a market structure shift so this is a valid market structure shift right here and what you have to do is to trade from the flip zone which is our mpl level and you can clearly identify a very good order block right here so in this particular case price couldn't return back to the main qml level instead it reacted from the mpl level so this is where you have to make some rules and decide on the levels which you're going to trade from and have it in mind like i said that this quasimodo pattern is a simple reversal pattern which could change the overall trend of the market now let's press price forward and see how this react now price react massively from that particular area and you see we have a total change in the market trend i hope you can clearly see we have a total change in the market trend and this is the current price action price is now breaking structures to the upside you see a break of structure you see that we have another break of structure right here and if you look at this particular area we have another good break of structure now if you want to trade another quasimodo pattern what is going to be your expectation your expectation is that price will come to take this particular low if price takes this low giving us a market structure shift then you have another quasimodo pattern and if price takes the low you're going to mark this particular high as your quasimodo level waiting for the retest and another change in market direction i hope this lesson makes sense to you and if you got value from this particular lesson kindly drop a like on the lesson i'm solomon wisdom and here is born to trade if you're interested in learning smart money concepts kindly subscribe to the channel so thanks very much for watching this particular lesson see you in the next lesson